TikTok's recommendation algorithm serves as that type of sorting hat. It sorts its users into different audiences. Then it sorts videos into different clusters that appeal to different audiences. Most apps like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you actually have to follow a lot of accounts or other people or people you know. TikTok was very different in that even if you didn't follow anybody, you would over time, just by using the app, get a very personalized entertainment experience for yourself. The For You page on TikTok is the default that the app opens into. On the one hand, it has a bunch of attributes about the video. It has this song in it. It has a dog. On the other, it has a bunch of attributes about you. You're this age. You live here. Those are contextual clues to feed their algorithm to determine what your tastes are. When you're looking at each video on the For You page, TikTok, the app, is looking at how you react to that video. And the algorithm starts to become smarter just off of these long sessions where you're addictively scrolling through videos and then adjusts what videos it shows you in the future. And over time, it builds almost a fingerprint of your tastes.